my dad saw this cool thing on TikTok, and so I went to go buy it right now at Best Buy, and it's actually really cool. Instead of buying a whole new router for your house, you can just buy a Wi-Fi uh, extender, and it extends your Wi-Fi, and it's actually really cool. You should buy it. Random things I got off Amazon. Let's go. This full body mirror. Oh, I love it so much. It's just so easy and convenient to store all my jewelry right there. You would never know anything's in there, so it looks clutter-free, you know, multi-purpose. We love that. I got this paint set, which I think is the cutest thing ever. They're gouache paints, though, and I'm used to painting with acrylic, so I think that'll be really fun. Just imagine this. Painting Picnic Park. This rock water fountain is, like, my newest current obsession. It's just so peaceful and also looks really cute. I've officially run out of room in my kitchen, so I got this strainer that just clips onto the pot, and then you can easily strain anything. I make so much pasta, so this was needed. I saw this and couldn't resist getting it, but it's a sticker maker. It can turn anything into a sticker Here's some quick examples but now i'm obsessed and like i want to turn everything into a sticker especially if you like journal or do anything artsy like that this could be really helpful or you know if you're just like me and are literally a five-year-old at heart keep in mind for this one this series is called random things i got from amazon but this is a couch and look it has a pull-out cup holder and it can even form as a bed okay bye tiktok made me buy this and first of all why is this not in stores literally a baggie holder a frisbee psych bowl holder and a water canteen like what what i bought it so you don't have to part one TikTok has shown me this thing on my FYP a couple of times, so naturally I had to buy it. It's a charging cable with little magnetic pieces that keep everything nice and neat. Okay, the actually crazy part about this is that the tip is magnetic as well, and it comes with interchangeable pieces, so you could use it for an iPhone or an Android. Not gonna lie, I really liked this one. <laughs> TikTok made me buy it. I wear contact lenses every day. Sometimes I got dry and red eyes. But since I use this ultrasonic washer, I say goodbye to dry and red eyes. All round cleaning. The washer is portable. I can just put it into my bag and bring it with me to work. Okay, I've never been more excited for an Amazon haul, I think, in my life. Of course, I will leave everything in my bio. I have like five things. Okay, I saw some girl do a video about how she just got a camcorder. I'm calling it now. Disposable cameras are out, Polaroid cameras are out. The next big thing is going to be these little camcorders. This reminds me of my childhood. I have so many family home videos that we watch like every Sunday, but it all stops at like 2005. This would be so fun to just have with your friends this summer. Just leave it in your car and whenever you're doing something fun, then you just have like a summer 2021 video at the end. Me and my boyfriend are going to Florida tomorrow. We're flying out to visit family. So I think it'll be really fun just to like document the whole trip. Just like the good old days. Does anyone else have family home videos? Comment if you do. $60 for this, but you're gonna have memories for forever. Okay, I got two more things, both kind of to help me pack for Florida. Okay, I got two different jewelry like traveling boxes. Both of these I think were around $15. I just didn't know which one I'd prefer. Okay, this first one has spots for necklaces and then earrings and then rings and whatever else. And then this one, you put your rings on here and then it just has tons of other compartments as well. So I'm not sure. So I shaved my arms and there's nothing worse than when I get outside and realize I missed a spot. This little device has a razor, a spray bottle and soap. It's so fast, there's no mess, and it fits in my purse. Wow, I really need to get a life. Another Amazon delivery. But honestly, this is the highlight of my week. I better hurry up before my neighbors see me looking like this. Now where am I going to hide all these so my husband doesn't find them? But since you are here, let's see what I bought because I do not remember. Oh cute a baby book for my best friend that will make her cry. What do we got here? Oh, a makeup organizer for all of my skin care. And this one is a fancy gold squeegee so I can clean my shower in style. How pretty does it look? My first thought is this is an awfully big box for one item. You may think this is a regular shower caddy but no no, it's better. If you have a shower hose this one fits it perfectly with expanding shelves. How cool is that? It's really the simple things. Now let's try to put this organizer together. OMG, my life has changed. Oh my god, is this actually working? Once again, TikTok made me buy it. Last night I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw this girl talk about this product. We all know laminated fluffy brows are in and this is supposed to give you that effect. So let's try it out together. Here's the soap and this is a brush that it comes with. The packaging is so pretty. I wet the product a little bit and then apply it to my brows. I have no idea how to work this, so we're gonna figure it out together. Oh my god, what is going on? Guys, I'm in shock. Would I go out with these brows? I don't know. I really have to think about it. Maybe I just have to fill them in, right? Here's the before and after. And this product was only $8. TikTok made me buy this. Cake decorating supplies. Let's open up this shit. Turntable. Cupcake liners. Icing spatulas. Molders and frosting bags. Frosting tips. The app is this. Oh cute little baggie. Someone explain. Flower lifter. Russian tips. Russian couplers. 
cleaning brush, reusable frosting bag and scrapers. This is huge. Flower nail. All right, TikTok made me buy it. Here we go. No. Um, <gasps> no. No. Back with another TikTok made me buy it. I saw my friend Carolina share this viral sippy cup and I knew I had to try it. It's a straw cup that's supposed to be spill resistant. I filled it with water, gave it a little shake, and it seems to check out. It's really cool. Um, so TikTok made me buy it. I have nowhere to wear something like this. But that girl was like, it's at Walmart for 25 bucks and sis, just buy it. Things TikTok made me buy from Amazon part two. Apologies for the croaky voice, guys, but I'm still here for the Amazon Prime. So I got these, not even sure what they were at first, but I remembered they were fluffy headbands, but they came vacuum packed. They are super soft and super fluffy. They are also really stretchy, which is brilliant because I've got a massive head and they came in a massive range of colours, which was brill. I then also got this rechargeable candle lighter. I love candles, so this is brilliant. You just flip it on and oh look at that it was really really easy to use and you just plug it in to charge it and should never have to replace it i then got these bad boys which are silicone face mask applicators i tend to use a makeup brush and ruin it but these are really soft and really nice then i got this which is to massage your scalp when shampooing i know random but you know tiktok and then i got this bad boy because everyone says it's brilliant okay i'm done now bye Things that I didn't know that I needed from Amazon, but TikTok made me buy it, part six. So I found this 4-in-1 travel dispenser. I thought this was a great product because in case you guys do travel or whatever it may be, you can actually carry all your essentials that you need, like your shampoo, conditioner, body wash, you name it. All you have to do is twist the top and then you dispense what you need. And the great thing is it comes with labels. That's awesome. Also comes in different colors. All right, TikTok made me buy it. If you don't have one of these, you need it. So it's a sunscreen applicator. It's got all my sunscreen in here. And this is that really thick zinc oxide stuff. So if you've ever tried to put that on a kid, it's a pain in the ass. And it's got a roller ball. And look at how easy it puts it on. And it's got a sponge to smear it all in so you don't get all those thick lines. Things TikTok made me buy? I have seen this everywhere. I'm trying it tomorrow.
A glass oil jar that will actually fit in my cabinet. Another fire TV remote because my dog's a jerk. Poor, poor, poor. Screw, screw, screw. Clink, clink. Should I label it so my kids don't ask what it is every time? this contraption. Let's buy it, sis. OMG, OMG. <sighs> I'm so excited. <gasps> this is so cool. Ones. Comes with a knife. Attempt number one. Oh. What a fail. Let's try again. This is hard ha. Huh? Warning you now, my whole foot basically peels off in this video, so if that grosses you out, keep scrolling, but if not, please keep watching. This is a foot peel mask by Planifique. It's a number one bestseller on Amazon. And as you can see, I have really dry heels as well as a huge callus on my big toe that is extremely stubborn. So I soaked my feet for about 15 minutes and put on these booties for 90 and I chilled with some socks on. It really wasn't too uncomfortable. And then I washed off all of the residue. It took about three to four days to see any type of peeling, but once it started, it did not stop. I basically had webbed feet. Me and my mom were cracking up when we were removing it and for the next two days it just kept getting more and more drastic at one point my whole heel basically was falling off i was like what the heck i felt like a snake shedding all of its old skin but at the end of it i ended up having the softest feet ever my callus was completely smooth as well as my heels i am obsessed last week i discovered the most amazing thing you can buy on amazon and of course had to get it it's called an eco spear and it comes in a couple different sizes. An eco spear is a closed ecosystem in a glass orb. There are about 10 tiny shrimp in here and algae. 
Light, together with carbon dioxide in the water, enables the algae to produce oxygen. The shrimp breathe oxygen in the water and nibble on the algae and bacteria. Bacteria break down the shrimp's waste into nutrients, which the algae again utilizes. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think?